All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead, install this thing that just showed up, little speedometer, this type. It's different than this one. On the other bike, like that, I just wanna, well, I just tried this one because it looks like it's in miles per hour. It says kilometers in there. I don't know, it said it was in miles an hour, so I'm gonna test it out and see how good it works. And I'm also going to switch the brake rotors from this side to that side because y'all said it was on the wrong side. Got to do it anyways because this needs to be on that side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And someone was commenting about all the RCs I got. Arma fanboy. Yeah, bit of a mix. Got a whole bunch of Armas, a whole bunch of low Cs, Traxxas, a bunch of parts. G crap. We got more over here. Traxxas, Axial, Team Associated, Traxxas. There's an Armin. Uh, yeah, mostly Traxxas though. Got more inside, but that's just what's out here. If y'all want some RC content, let me know. I haven't broke these things out in a while. It's two DBXLs. Arma, uh, there's a e, there's a Revo, E Revo, HPI Baja, the gas version. Arma never ran once, just haven't got around to. Very first one, and there's another low C over here, being rebuilt from the last race. It's just got a castle in it, but low C over there. All right, now time to get on with the video. I'm not gonna bore y'all with RC stuff for the ones who don't wanna see it. All right, I've redone this section like four times already. So I'm going to take out these and go ahead and y'all can't see them, there you go. Remove the caliper, move that to the side. Now, this is not the fun part. I'm gonna take off this wheel, hopefully set it somewhere. And that bracket's just gonna have to sit there because I gotta move it somewhere. Don't y'all love my makeshift bike stand? I need to get an actual one that actually holds with the top mount of the frame. That's expensive though, so for now this is what I got. And now we need to do wheels like that. We're gonna turn it around and reinstall it. But first get this bracket right here onto the other side. All right, last footage got corrupted or whatever. So here's this, just took it out of the box. This is paper and cable. So if I remember correctly, just undo this. You get one end, don't remember which end. I think this end goes here. No, it doesn't. This end in there just screws on you can see that and this end goes in there screws in just like that and then goes on the bike just like that all right don't want to do that ever again. Take this wheel off because it's a pain in the butt. Got it all aligned. A few things looking good, I think. And we got this going up here. Gonna put a zip tie right there to make this wire not hit the wheel. And spinometer is in, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. It's a short one, but it'll work. Get something out. Yeah, uh, haven't still got a full writing video in yet, but I'm still working on that. Also want to mention this thing rusts now. A little bit of rust on it. Not going to kill me, but thought I mentioned it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this one. If you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't, oh well. But yeah, things installed.